Good evening, this is the National Weather Service in Des Moines bringing you the next installment in the series of updates for this impactful winter system. So once again, uh, as you have almost certainly heard by now, snow, sleet, freezing rain, and general ice accumulations are expected across the state. Uh, and in fact, it's already begun across southern Iowa tonight and will continue to expand northward through the overnight hours. Certainly, impacts are going to be mostly hazardous travel and potentially some power outage issues. And then as we exit, as the system exits and temperatures warm for the remainder of the week, there will be some uh, remaining concerns for river flooding and ice jams. But diving back into the main concern, the ice storm warning you see here has been expanded slightly to the north and to the east from previous forecasts. And these are areas where we do expect the most freezing rain accumulation, so call it around a quarter inch or more. The remainder of the state uh, is now under a freezing rain advisory, so ice is expected pretty much statewide. Uh, but in these areas, we're looking at a quarter inch or less. Timing-wise, for the most part, north of Highway 20, the bulk of it is going to happen tomorrow morning into the evening hours. As you can see, it transitions from ice initially to snow primarily by tomorrow afternoon. To areas south and southwest of Highway 20, we're looking at primarily ice accumulations. And the bulk of it is going to start working in uh, this evening and overnight and peaking kind of in the early morning hours Monday and then trailing off in the afternoon and evening hours tomorrow. Taking a look at total ice accumulations here, as you can see, it kind of matches up almost exactly with that freezing rain warning. You can see a quarter inch to a half inch across large portions of central and western Iowa, and then primarily a tenth to a quarter of an inch for the rest of the state. Did mention a little bit of snow, and primarily that's going to be residing across the north and northwest areas of the state. So call it trace to two inches, possibly pushing three inches as you get to the far northwest. Elsewhere, certainly could see a little bit of light snow, primarily trace amounts mixed in. If you're looking for up-to-date information, don't hesitate to go to our webpage, weather.gov Des Moines, and in the top left corner, you can punch in your location, whether that be the city, comma, state, or your zip code, and it will take you to a seven-day forecast for your location. Other useful information, especially for anyone that has to travel uh, this evening, overnight, and certainly on in through into and through tomorrow, please check out 511ia.org for road conditions. And then you can actually track a plow through the Iowa DOT uh, and take a look at what they're laying down and as well as some of the road conditions that they're experiencing. Otherwise, we do have other resources on our page. If you go to our page, under the local information section, you can go to our winter DSS support page. Other ways to reach us include our other social media outlets. Uh, well, you already talked about our website. We are on Facebook, Twitter. This is on YouTube, and we do even occasionally use Periscope. So once again, we are expecting periods of snow, sleet, freezing rain, and ice across the state. It's already beginning tonight. It will expand northward overnight and linger on into Tuesday morning. Main impacts will primarily reside with travel and potentially a few power outages. Otherwise, on through the week, river flooding and ice jams uh, do grow in concern. With that, I would like to thank you for tuning in, and please stay up to date on the forecast. And if you do have to be out and about, please stay safe. Thank you very much.